Now, I'm not saying that mindset in dating coaches aren't helpful for some people. There's one thing you need to do when you're in Mish, right? I mean, young men these days will admire practically anyone with a cell phone camera and what resembles just a shred of confidence. All right, let's talk about how to make her feel secure after you've delivered her a cream pie. I'm just saying for me personally, they're viscerally painful to watch, but at the same time, entertaining in the same way watching a caveman try and execute self fellatio might be entertaining. So this is my boy Confidence Chris. He is in the seven figure TikTok club and stays pumping out content to help young men and women who are trying to land a suitor. You know, girls in situationships remind me of crackheads. You know what I'm saying? They know it's bad for them, but they can't help themselves. Like, hmm, I just need that D crack. <laughs> All right, maybe that wasn't the best example of something helpful. Let's try another one. All right, I'm going to teach you how to get her to squeeze her every time. <laughs> All right, this is There's more. There's one thing you need to do when you're in Mish. This is more actionable. Right? You essentially squeeze her. her, right? She's flat. She's looking good. You're like, whoa, hello. But you're just going to be like, okay. <laughs> I didn't even see that one the first time through. <laughs> she's flat. She's looking good. You're like, whoa, hello. But you're just going to be like, okay, well, you don't say that. <laughs> but I want you to just take your hands under her lower back here. And I want you to lift up. And I want you to, yes. 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 Every time. Works every time. Also, if you want to hold her legs up. hey, -oh! Bound down. Squeeze her. Skirt. No cap, bro. Just pull her up like so. <laughs> No cap, brothers. Just pull her up, up, just like so. Straight mish, okay? No reverse pew pew, no doggo, no funny stuff. Just a heaping dish of straight mish. Squizzard. Fair play, confidence, Chris, because now I'm intrigued. How can I give you money to teach me the ways of the squizzard in more detail? Ah, uh, yes, a link tree. Very nice. Quite the robust lineup of options here. I cannot wait to dive in. Unfortunately, I don't see a link for today's video sponsor. So I guess I'll just have to tell you guys about it instead. Uh, but stay tuned because after, Chris is gonna go head to head with some feminists and it gets absolutely insane, <laughs> bro. Squizzard. Not really, but it, it will be, no, not, no. But it will be fun to watch together, so stick around. So many of my favorite memories are directly tied to the sense experienced in those moments. Those salt water from memorable family vacations or the aftershave my father wore that to this day reminds me of my own childhood reverence for the working class man. Our noses work hard at shaping our experiences, which is why I wear designer fragrances that are shipped to me monthly through a fragrance subscription service called Scentbird. I try to leave lasting impressions on people, and I do that not only through my behavior, but by also creating a passive pleasantness to my presence. As the weather turns bitter, I've been using Winter Oak by Raw Spirit, a smooth woodsy scent with notes of aged oak and cozy suede to help warm up a room. Also in my current rotation are Sun Shower by Skylar with notes of jasmine and lemon, Maritime by Tommy Bahama, a fresh aroma of lemongrass and starfruit, and Brioni by Eau de Parfum Eclat with radiant scents of grapefruit and frankincense. With over 600 designer brands, there are endless options to help you discover your style and express your individuality. If you fall in love with one, you can also purchase full-size fragrances, as well as body lotion, candles, and diffusers in their online shop. A perfect gift for a loved one. If you click my link in the description below and you use my code LEON, you get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only eight bucks for your first month. Additionally, Scentbird is now available in Canada as well, so click that link and level up your scent game. I appreciate you guys. All right, so first off, very important. I sorted by most viewed. We got to see what his most viewed TikTok is because this these days is how you measure a man's worth. So personally, that's my favorite. Stop looking at me. It's the normal shit. And then like the big spoon. That's ah, okay. Little spoon though. Hey, that's right, Bobby. Hey. And a little bunch of butt action. That's how I sleep normally. And then this is like the middle of the night. Don't look at me, bro. Definitely thumbnail on the fuck out of that. And then, oh, yo, hey, yo. All right, cheeky little TikTok about your favorite cuddle position. He brought in uh, the peach, apparently, and that helped his views on TikTok. And I'm glad I found this because you know that's thumbnail vibes. No, you can't be as desperate as that. Oh, don't give me shit. What, you click on this video because my face was in the thumbnail? I don't think so, all right? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Listen, not to be an asshole, but everything you have in your life, every relationship, Truth the bomb. finances, whatever it is, is a direct reflection of what you feel like you deserve. And that shit hurts, but it's the truth. 
You create your reality. If you want a better relationship, stop settling for shit. If you want better finances, take some action on the things that you love to do. This is grade A guru talk right here. Like, all you gotta do is make like 10 TikToks a day about some secret bullshit about attraction, right? You are a direct result of the things that you are attracting in your life. If you manifest, fucking a check will show up in the mail with money. You're just not manifesting hard enough. Gentlemen, you want to be with that hot girl in the gym that's already told you no 17 times? You're not manifesting hard enough. There is no time like the present. The more time that you waste just sitting here doing nothing about your life, you can't blame anybody else besides yourself for the way things are. Now ask yourself, what do you think you deserve? I mean, he's not really wrong about that last part. I just hate the idea of people needing, people needing some sort of online coach to realize that they have to take accountability for their life. Like, that should be an innate thing you understand, right? Nobody's coming to save you, right? You shouldn't need to pay a coach to fucking tell you that. It should just be obvious that you are accountable for your actions and the results of your own life for the most part. That's like classic mindset coach grifting right there. It's like you just say the most obvious things that are like inspiring, really Tony Robbins-esque, you know, you gotta manifest this or just think harder about that and it will start to happen. Maybe it's true, I don't know. I just don't think you should need to pay people a bunch of money for them to tell you that. I'm not saying that all personal coaching is bad, but the internet has made it so easy for people to just take advantage of those with low self-confidence. And there's no more vulnerable group of people than young men that struggle with relationships. Listen, I get the tattoos and the bracelet and the backwards trucker's hat. I'm already on lock. I think I could clean this business up, to be honest. Are you tired of her not responding to your unsolicited dick pics? Want to know the four secrets that will get any woman ever to fall in love with you? Just fill out this form to get a free discovery call with me, the most confident man on the planet because I have tattoos and practice talking to a camera. Also, be doubly sure you fill out the end of the form here where it asks how much you make per month so I know how much I can gouge you for my services. This is Chris's actual coaching application here. <laughs> Listen, I got nothing against confidence Chris. He's a handsome dude and hustlers are gonna hustle. But paying handsome guys to cheerlead you is just an easy way to avoid the introspection and actual hard work it takes to level up your life. That's just my opinion. Or I'm just deflecting because in reality, I want confidence Chris to teach me how to squizzer. Hey so you wanna just start out straight mish. Now I know I've given confidence Chris a hard time, but one way to make him look not so bad is to stick him in a room with some radical feminists, which Jubilee has done uh, on an episode they did not so long ago, a couple weeks ago. I want to take a look at that real quick. Confident or creepy feminists confront pickup artists. One immediate takeaway is that if you're crushing it on TikTok, you get a shot to be in a Jubilee video, baby, and that's what making it's all about. I'm confidence Chris on TikTok. <laughs> the reason I think I give good dating advice is because I know what the toxic guy thinks because I have been that guy. Have been or am? I have been that guy. Okay. What's your opinion Give on him credit. feminists? Used to be. You know, I like to think I'm a feminist. I, I f with feminism. <laughs> <laughs> that is about the most fuckboy answer you could possibly make to that question. You know, actually, I consider myself a bit of a feminist. Yeah, because I stay all up in these women's rights. <laughs> Confidence, Chris. It's not what you want to hear, it's what you need to hear. There you go. Okay. I tell the hard you truths. Can schedule a phone Nobody call wants with to hear for an hour for $250. Woo! $250 an hour? Damn, Chris! You really do know how to squiz her, don't you? Alright, I know this one's gonna be bad because it's a podcast. And men and podcasts don't go go well together, to be honest. And feminists wonder why we don't take them seriously. Oh, men talking like out loud. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely going to be gross and toxic. <laughs> As a girl, you be with whoever the fuck you want to be, right? There should be guys in life that you're like, you know, I fuck with you, but realistically, you're not that cool, and I'm down to just fuck. You, I don't think you should hold back. I honestly don't think you should hold back if you want to fuck a guy because he's hot and he doesn't have anything else going on for him. Okay. I understand where the opinion Fair. is coming from. Um, but I don't really like the language because it's like objectifying women as like a sexual object. Uh, what? Didn't he just say that women should just be able to have physical relationships if they want to? If anything, he's objectifying men by saying that. But some feminists, I imagine, just rehash the same talking point so many times, it just naturally comes out when they have nothing constructive to say. Um, just like I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about a man like that. What do you? Um, well, okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting to f somebody just because you want to f them. There you go. You don't have to always be looking response. for a relationship, and that goes for men and women. 
this is gonna sound stupid, but kind of look at them as if it was like you're just your home. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like you're talking to somebody and it's like, okay, like we're just having a regular ass conversation. Yeah. Treating them as if you've known them for almost a really long time, not being afraid to just talk to them like they're a normal person. You know what I mean? That's really what it comes down to. A friend. Yes, a friend. Yeah. friend. Look at her like she's an ugly chick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had me until the end. Promoting I mean, me too, confidence kind of. in people, that's great. Uh, but like, talk to everybody as if they're a friend. They don't need to be an ugly person to talk to them with kindness and understanding. Like, just get to know people. That's all you have to do at the end of the day. All right, fair enough. And I do agree, Chris wasn't very tactful at the end there, but what he's alluding to isn't entirely untrue, I don't think. It's not unusual for humans to put others on a pedestal based strictly on their physical presence and level of attractiveness subjectively. I imagine for most men, it would be more difficult for them to go up and break the ice in a conversation with somebody they thought was a 10 and were intimidated by versus someone they thought was a three and were not. That's, I feel like just human nature in a way. And for $250 an hour, Chris will tell you that because it's what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Take that feminists. <laughs> I told you that most of his audience is women. I think, I mean, I can see, I can see why. All right, that is actually pretty, interesting to me. All right, let's go for our biggest icks oh. for girls. It's hygiene. Okay, one ick I have is when men use the word ick, okay? That's a girl thing. That's for the girls. I'm sorry. Okay, continue. Didn't think I'd find myself agreeing with this girl today, but in this, we are on the same page. No one loves a smelly coochie. You're not a bad <laughs> You're just a regular white girl from a small white town. <laughs> Did you really just say smelly coochie? Sorry. The BBL's gotta go. That shelf is looking a little sus. Did you tell me? Come on. Okay. I'm personally not really for the BBLs, but if they're making women, if women want to do that and want to look that way, then it's not really up to like this person or this guy to decide that it's in or out. I mean, tribal tattoos are out and <laughs> he still has these. Boom! Roasted! Notice he didn't say traditional Japanese sleeve tattoos are out. <laughs> So look out, Chris, because uh, cooler tattooed confidence Leon's about to swoop in and steal your gig. I mean, shit, for $250 an hour, I've been doing it all wrong. In Chris's defense, though, he obviously seems to be trying to add an element of comedy and entertainment to his... I mean, that is what TikTok really is, right? You're not, you're not trying to deliver the killing blow on TikTok. It's just to ephemeral attention, and then you lure him in for that coaching session to give him the real advice, I imagine. And for what it's worth, excessive plastic surgery has become a bit of a disease on the internet. Sure, a little nip tuck here and there, no problem, but these unrealistic body mutations perpetuated by wanton narcissism being hypercharged by online engagement, shit's getting out of control. I'm 22 and I've spent 100K on surgery. This does not look good. Oh, but Leon, if it makes them happy, why do you care, Leon? I do not care, but I'm just calling a spade a spade here, and Instagram culture has somehow made body dysmorphia cool, and apparently everyone's just okay with it. <laughs> but that's a whole nother topic. Back to my boy, Chris. Would you be open to meeting Chris today and talking to him? Sure. I'd give it a shot. Hey, <laughs> what's oh my. going on? Hi. Hey. How's it going? Chris. Thought you'd be taller. <laughs> Thanks. I get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, short king. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, you give me a hug. I fucking knew it! All right? I I don't make the rules of the universe, but I just it was just somehow so obvious this dude was sub 5'9". Nothing wrong with that, but you just don't see a lot of very tall dudes walking around having to prove how confident they are. Makes me wonder how much is actual confidence versus what's meticulously rehearsed faux confidence in, in order to overshadow his insecurities. I'm just speculating, okay? Hello, short king. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, you give me a hug. Like, he did not sound happy being called a short king right there. The hug is a nice touch, though. I know you only saw a handful of the mm -hmm. videos, but... I think I've actually seen your stuff on TikTok. That's why I think I was confused because I've seen um, stuff on like your other stuff on TikTok that actually gave really solid advice. Mm. I think that's the, like the issue though is that like a lot of people do see these like quick things mm -hmm. they make one second judgment and then yeah. they're just like this guy. Yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? That's a problem with the internet. Totally agree with what they just said. It's always the most ephemeral and reactionary content that goes viral and causes people to make snap judgments on individuals that may actually have some depth or something to offer. I'm sure that among the deluge of Chris's TikTok squizzert style videos there are some reasonable takes to be found. I think you said one of them was insidious. 
not intentionally insidious, mm. but I do think it has the potential to bring the wrong message to the wrong people. Gotcha. Mm. Which is what I'm saying, like, because like I don't think you come from a bad place. You no, don't, no. You don't strike don't me as one of those bad dudes who's like, yeah. oh, f red pill. Like, no, you're no, not no. one That's of those guys. Vibe. That's not my vibe. It just seems. No, guys. Hello, red pill. At the beginning of this video, Chris said he's a bit of a feminist himself. There might be a little bit of blinders on in certain areas. That's fair. I mean, I would agree with that. I feel like I <laughs> sure. hear a lot of these comments like online, but then just like hearing it from people directly is just a different experience. You're like, that's not what I intended. Okay. I think hearing all those different perspectives, like honestly in a weird way helps me like think about or make the content I make because I'm like, what I'm saying is not necessarily what they're picking up, to be honest. That's just a consequence of putting yourself online where billions of people potentially have access to little sound bites of things that you say out of context. It's a double-edged sword, really. Now, I love guys like Confidence Chris because they're entertaining to me, and I don't think they mean any harm. They're just on that kind of self-confidence hustle, trying to turn people's insecurities into some money. And that's a business strategy as old as time. I wouldn't recommend paying $250 for a coaching call necessarily when you can get two years of a gym membership for that same amount, which has the potential to do more for your self-confidence than one million TikToks ever could. But if you're looking to make a girl squizzert from straight mish, Confidence Chris is your guy. Pay him all the money and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You know I appreciate your time. If you could stand up out of your chair, pull down your pants and confidently hip thrust that motherfucking like button, that would mean the world to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.